Welcome back to the third grade. Today, we're playing with magnets. So if you've ever been through a third grade life science class, then you've probably seen this little experiment where you take some iron filings and you sprinkle them over some magnets and it allows you to see a physical representation of magnetic lines of force. And it's, it's kind of interesting. It's certainly something every school child has seen. The question I've been asked is, can I preserve this phenomenon in resin? I have no idea. Of the three shapes, I definitely like the way this one looked the best. Kind of neat. You definitely see the poles and the lines as they're pulling out from that. Or what? I guess I'll pour in a corner over here. I got a lot of bubbles. Let's see if I can clear some of those up. So here it is, all cured up. Actually got a really cool look to it. You can totally see the lines of force but like if you look at it from the side there are so many bubbles my thought was that these micro bubbles were happening because the resin I used takes about 20 minutes to cure and that just wasn't enough time for all the bubbles to rise to the surface and pop. I decided to use a resin with a longer cure time and what I got was so many more bubbles. Even though we had more time for the bubbles to rise did we get more bubbles in the second one than we did in the first one? This was warmed up resin with almost no bubbles in it when I poured it. So my conclusion was is that it's air trapped in the iron filings that is slowly rising into the casting. The only way to solve that problem is to put this in a pressure pot. Such a difference, huge difference. There are no micro bubbles in this at all. I really like the way that this came out. It looks incredibly clear. But what, what my favorite part was, if you look at the side of this casting, I think the fact is of how three-dimensional it actually is and how far up those iron filings actually rise into the resin. Um, and I think it'd be really fun to do a project that accentuates those spikes. Because of that, that way that the iron shavings kind of raised up, uh, with those spikes into the casting, it got me thinking that it might look really cool if we accentuate that effect. So this is a sphere mold, and these are neodymium magnets. Uh, is that the first step? No, what? you know what, let's mix up the resin first. That's the first step. So this is, uh, this is thick set resin. It is a slower casting time than some of the total belt resins I've used in the past. And it is a three to one ratio, three parts of resin and one part of hardener. Know how much time I've got before this starts to set, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Just in time, I'll pour you just in time. Before the resin sets, you'll be in mold. Just in time, I'll pour you just in time before my project is up. Well, that's high. I can't hit that. Okay, so we'll put this off to the side. So, I'm going to take a stack 
of neodymium magnets and I'm going to put it underneath my mold and now I'm just going to add a bunch of iron shavings, iron filings to the mold. Super happy with that. So, now for the tricky part. This mold is going to come apart in the best of circumstances, much less inside a pressure pot. And you can't stick to sil silicone, doesn't stick to anything, right? So, we need something to stick to itself. All right, so my thinking was that I would just kind of squeeze the two halves together, and then the duct tape will hold it. All right, so I just transferred some to a tiny paper cup so I can create a spout. Nope, no, no, oh. Okay. It works fine in the small ones. Yeah. And I think what happened was somebody made this yeah. and was like, this works. And then they just made bigger ones. And they don't have the strength to hold the they don't, pressure. They don't, they don't hold the pressure. So, and you can't, they're silicone, so you can't put tape on them. Because it won't stick. Right, exactly. So I tried a weird idea and it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't quite work the way I'd hoped. It's like cool looking. It is. It's really, really cool looking. I wish I had a solution. I can't think of anything. You need to use the dome mold that you used for the dandelion. Yeah. And somehow put the magnets on the top. How? Yeah. I mean, that's a cool idea. How would I do that? Well, you're the clever one. That's your, that's your job. All right, so she's saying to use the dome mold that we used on the dandelion, which is a great idea in Put the magnet there, and then pour the iron filings on top of that. Okay. The resin. Definitely need more resin. Almost full, I think. Where your hands go matters. Goes into here. So I gotta clean this up and then oh, hopefully we'll see how that looks. And then you just kinda apply some pressure around the outside. Whoa! <laughs> that is crystal clear. That looks amazing. It's really hard to film because it's so sh it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's like super shiny. I put a polarizing lens on here and then it just dulled it, so I took it off. But um but yeah, I love the way it like spikes out. I do too. I'm gonna see if I can get it the edge here. on. It, it kind of, it's the same, it just fills it all up. So my idea worked. Once again. <laughs> Ooh, really I cool like that. Rate. I like it too. I wish there was a way to not have any the, glare on it. I know. Oh, look what happens when I turn the top lights on. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. It's just like lines of shine. <laughs> so, 
this is better. Yeah, this is as good as I can get. The other thing I did was I put it on top of um, that light up thing. You'll have to turn it both off for the thing to auto adjust. Oh yeah, can't see a darn thing. That looks great. Doesn't that be beautiful? Looks beautiful. Beautiful. And red <laughs> and blue. Blue is so bad. You can kind of sort of see it in blue. And oh, green. green's better. Uh, kind of weird. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like what it is. That's kind of weird. Yeah, not good. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. Okay. Not only did we learn that you can preserve magnetic lines of force in resin, but in addition to that, you can make this cool, I don't know, sea urchin? Anemone. Yeah, and I think, I think that's mesmerizing. If you've got any more ideas for these sort of quick videos that we can do, let us know, and um, we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>